October 2025. The air felt heavy, thick with warning. Meteorologists called it the storm of the century, Hurricane Melissa. People rushed to secure their homes, but nothing could prepare them for what came next. Melissa's winds screamed at 185 miles per hour. The sea rose up, swallowing roads and homes. In Westmoreland, the eye of the storm arrived with a roar. Roofs vanished. Power lines snapped like twigs. Floodwaters crept into living rooms, rising inch by inch. Over 1.5 million Jamaicans faced the storm's wrath. 13-foot waves crashed onto the coast, erasing the familiar. Entire communities were cut off, waiting in darkness. Many lives were lost, with many more forever changed. But even as the winds howled, hope flickered. Neighbors shared food and water. Volunteers braved the storm to help the stranded. When the sun returned, the island was battered, but not broken. Melissa's scars will last for years, but so would the lessons. Jamaica has survived the strongest hurricane in its history. Melissa was not the first to test Jamaica's spirit. Decades earlier, in September 1988, another monster approached, Hurricane Gilbert. Gilbert's arrival was announced by a wall of wind. Kingston shuddered as 125 mile per hour gusts tore through the city. For hours, the storm battered the island, flattening homes and uprooting lives. 100,000 houses were destroyed. Half a million people were left homeless. Banana and sugar crops, gone overnight. 45 souls lost, their names now part of Jamaica's story. But in the aftermath, something remarkable happened. Communities came together, clearing debris, sharing what little they had. Gilbert's name was retired, but its memory lives on in every rebuilt home. 16 years later, in September 2004, the island braced for Ivan. Ivan was a slow, relentless beast. Winds howled at 130 miles per hour, rattling windows and nerves. Thousands fled their homes, seeking safety in crowded shelters. The rain fell for hours, rivers swelling, roads disappearing beneath muddy torrents. 17 people lost their lives. But as the waters receded, Jamaicans emerged, determined to rebuild. Three years after Ivan, another threat loomed. Hurricane Dean, August 2007. Dean skirted Jamaica's southern edge, but its power was undeniable. Winds reached 145 miles per hour, flattening crops and homes. Three people died. Over 3,000 families lost everything. Banana and sugar fields were left in ruin. But once again, the island stood tall, clearing roads, replanting fields, and moving forward. If these stories move you, subscribe for more. Share your hurricane memories in the comments. Your voice keeps history alive. Long before satellites and storm trackers, there was Hurricane Charlie, August, 1951. Charlie struck with little warning its winds howling at 125 miles per hour. Kingston and the southern parishes bore the brunt. Floods swept away entire villages. Bridges collapsed, isolating communities for days. Over 150 people died. Food grew scarce, but the people endured. Relief convoys arrived, bringing hope and supplies. Charlie's legacy is still felt in stories passed down through generations. But the oldest scars run deepest. In November 1912, a hurricane battered Jamaica for hours. Hundreds of homes were lost. Floodwaters claimed many lives. Crops and railways vanished beneath the waves. Communication was cut for days. Survivors rebuilt with what little they had. The storm changed the island's landscape forever. Historians still study its impact, a reminder that nature's power is timeless. Six hurricanes, six chapters in Jamaica's story. Each storm brought fear, loss, and hardship. But each time, the island rose again. Stronger, wiser, more united. Subscribe for more stories of resilience, 
Share this video to help others prepare and remember. Let's keep Jamaica's history alive together. Jamaica's strength shines after every storm. We remember, rebuild, and rise again. Thank you for watching.